On the previous slide we looked at the moments of the binomial distribution, but moments alone don't tell you about the shape of the probability mass function of a discrete distribution. And so on this slide we're going to consider some examples that illustrate the shape of the binomial probability mass function. Here's the experiment. Consider 60 rolls of a fair die. There are three different definitions here of a random variable x which is associated with this experiment. In the first case we let x be the number of fours that occur. Well that will have the binomial distribution. n will be 60 because there are 60 Bernoulli trials and the probability of success is one-sixth on each trial because the probability of rolling a four is one-sixth with a fair die. The second example is the number of even numbers and in this case if x is the number of even numbers you still have 60 trials but the probability of rolling an even number on each trial is one half. Finally the last example is the number of non-fours and in this case x is binomial. 60 trials once again the probability of not rolling a four is five six. Now from the previous slide you know that I get my pen working here. You know that mu is equal to n times p. Well in this first case n times p turns out to be 10. In the second case n times p is 30. And in the third example n times p is 50. So here are the three plots of those three distributions and here is the R code which achieves that. First of all the par command says that I want an array, they call this a multiple frame plot, that's what the MF stands for here, and I want it done by row and I want one row and three columns of plots. So that's what you're getting right here. So this kind of sets up the plotting structure. And then we have an x which runs from 0 to 60. And what that represents is that represents the support of all of these binomial random variables. And then we simply do a plot and we make x as the horizontal axis and then d binome as the vertical axis in each case. And we have x 60 and either 1 sixth one-half or five-sixths. This type equals quote h quote means that the uh, the plot will be histogram style that is spikes will be done and here are the three plots. Notice that from our means this first one is centered about 10 when we're counting the number of fours in 60 trials. This one in the middle here is centered around 30 when we're counting the number of even numbers in 60 trials and this one right here is centered around 50 when you have the problem the you're counting the number of non-fours. Finally the last thing to notice is all of these are fairly close to a bell shape. Now this one looks the most bell shaped of the three but they're all pretty much have a, a bell shaped look to them and that is due to something that we will refer to later known as the central limit theorem because each of these binomials can be written as the sum of Bernoulli random variables.